have you ever realized the default date picker object in Excel VBA doesn't support both the 64 bit Excel version and also in Office 365? For that reason, I have developed an amazing multi feature date picker calendar built using Excel VBA so far. Why I'm telling this as multi feature is because with this calendar, you can customize the calendar color to your favorite theme. You can set your own desired range of years. You can set any day as the first day of the week. Also, you can fix any day as a week of day. You can also view the list of holidays for the selected month. And view holidays to your calendar. And even edit the holiday detail later. Also, you can delete any existing holidays from the calendar. All these settings you can control by just being a presenter. No need of touching the backend to change any of these settings. Last but not the least, this calendar is compatible with both 32 and also in 64 bit Excel. And it is very simple to install this calendar to any of your project files. For more details, check out the link given on the first comment. Are you excited to know how to install this calendar to your project? Come, let's begin. My name is Ganesh. Welcome to Daisiness at Excel. To install this calendar to your project file, you need to follow three steps. First, make sure you have opened both the calendar file and also your project file. Step 1. Go to the calendar window. Create a copy of the color setting sheet and the calendar setting sheet to your project file. Select both the sheets together by holding Ctrl key. Then right mouse click on the sheet name and select move or copy. Select your project file from the list. Click the checkbox to create a copy and click on OK. Now you can see both the sheets copied to my new project file. Step 2. On your project file, go to calendar settings sheet. On worksheet protection check, click on the get existing sheet name button which will populate the sheet names which are password protected in your project file. If there is no sheet names mentioned in the list, it means that there is no sheets protected in your workbook. If any sheet names are displayed here, then you need to mention the password for unprotecting the sheet. The reason for unprotecting the worksheet is only because to change the theme color. You will not be able to change the theme color when any of the worksheets are password protected in your project file. And for that reason, we are storing the password details here so that we can use it at the time of changing the theme color using VBA code. Step 3 And the last step is to copy the calendar form to my new project file. Open the VBA editor, go to developer tab and click on Visual Basic or you can also use the shortcut Alt F11 to open the same. Under Projects, you can see two workbooks. One is the Calendar Workbook and the other is my new project book. On the Calendar Workbook, inside the forms, you will find the UF Calendar form. Now just drag and drop the UF Calendar form anywhere inside the new project file. That's it. Now you have successfully installed the Calendar form to your project file. To pick the date from the calendar to any of the active cell, go to Insert, Under Shapes, select any of the shapes you like, set a name for your shape, right mouse click on the shape, click on Assign Macros, select Open Calendar Macro and click on OK. Now select any cell and click on the shape to open the calendar, click on any date where the selected date picked up to the active set. Instead of using the shape to open the calendar form, you can also assign a shortcut key to open the calendar form. To do that, go to View, click on Macros, select the macro, and click on Options, assign a shortcut key, and click on OK. Now you can open the calendar form by just pressing the same shortcut. To pick the date from the calendar to any of your user form object, open any of your existing user form where you need to add the date to the calendar or create a new user form from the Visual Basic Editor.
to create a new user form go to insert and click on user form let me add a new text box and a command box object from the toolbox now i just want to open the date picker calendar when i click on this command button and when i select any date from the calendar that date should get picked up in this text box first make a note of the text box property name from here next double click on the command button write the code inside this procedure call uf underscore calendar dot get details open parenthesis inside the parenthesis mention the text box property name which is text box one close parenthesis now let's run the user form first click on the command button click on any of the date that's it the date got picked to the text box again when i click on the command button the calendar automatically select the date displayed in the text box You can also position the calendar as per your wish by mentioning the top and left position value. And this is only the optional field to fill in. If you leave it blank, by default the calendar will be positioned at the center of the screen. And that's it for this video. To get this day picker calendar, check out the link given in the video description and also on the first comment. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends as well. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now and click on the bell icon to get notified of my upcoming videos. It's me Ganesh signing off. See you in another project. Until then, bye.